Hello. Hello. We are on. Today we're going to be doing. It's Tim and. It's Tim and Karen. Yes. And we are going to be doing paper piecing. Have you ever done that? Where you stamp on your pattern paper and then you create lovely cards. We're going to make like six of them. So that will be fun. So you can just get some pattern paper ready. And you know what? I know some of you don't like to fussy cut or you can't because of arthritis or something. So just enjoy or look for a stamp that's a really big image and easy to cut out. But first, we've, we've got, got mail. mail. <laughs> okay, we'll set that aside and we start have, with mail. We have a variety today. Okay, Karen Iris from New Hampshire. Oh, you know, you know, yesterday, I was like, oh, two, no, yesterday we took a day off. Two days ago, we did our new catalog open house. And this reminds me, these are other snowflakes from before, but they remind me of the snowflakes that we had this time. Isn't that pretty? Look what an elegant card that makes, just with the back and the words across the top. How fun is that? That is a fun, oh, love it. It's a beautiful card. So you could do the same kind of card with, the um yeah those other snowflakes but anyway i just love that gorgeous simple christmas card while we're talking about that let me just point out that i have a bunch of stuff going out in the mail these are from our the drawings from our party on monday and tomorrow we're doing another party over in the back porch stampers so if you haven't joined yet over there you want to come on over there we're going to do a lot of engagement things tomorrow over there that will be fun okay continuing on and i will put a link to that so we have from, who is this from? Well, it doesn't say. It's from Grinnell, Iowa. Grinnell, Iowa. Um, oh, there. Nope. That's, nope. Is this from, Teresa, are you in Grinnell? Is that it? Oh, see, I don't know. I think we got rid of the part that no name. Jordan, but So it's a no name. I'm guessing it's from you. If you're on here, tell us. So that will be awesome. Love this layout. Look how this is just four different papers. So it's just like a, you could make a line and do those papers. Isn't that fun? And then accenting in that way. So a great layout. And the bumblebees are going to attack them. Thank you, Kay, for sharing and the rest of you. And, and Kim, it is so good to see all of you on here. From Jan Drake in Illinois. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I got to oh, tell a story. No. Oh, Tim has a story. I oh, thought. This is so cute. I thought I, mean, I broke this. Pretty, uh huh. But this was actually glued to the envelope. It, Oh, it stuck it, to the it's envelope. So, oh, not, so you're not so going to claim I'm not responsibility. Well, I'm, I'm, and I'm not. Oh, this is adorable. And you know what? I have these are, you guys, what do we call these things? Uh, wobblies. I have some. I will just uh, take this <laughs> off and put it. I'll put an unbroken one so, on. And t Tim, really, you should apologize anyway. I know. I okay. Should, <laughs> I should have known you that there not. was a risk of it <laughs> getting glued to the envelope. But anyway. Okay. This is really fun. Now, I've done a bunch of wobbly cards with like cute little animals and stuff. I've never done anything with something more elegant. How fun is that? So this is going to wobble. We're going to have to correct this one. But is that fun with the sunflower? That is a gorgeous so, card. Jeanette, Thank you. Jeanette goes by Jan. Yeah. Jeanette goes by Jan. So yeah. Jeanette. Jeanette or Jan Jeanette, or whatever you want to be Jan, called. You know? I'm, I'm sorry to blame <laughs> you. Apologies, but I just didn't want to little, blame myself. A little accident in the mail. But what a great card. Oh, and a whole bunch more of you are sharing. Karen and Yolanda. Thanks, you guys. Okay. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that, that is hilarious. Madeline Stamolis from Alabama. Ooh, fun fold card. This is another card. We haven't done one like this yet in our fun folds classes, but but we will. But how cool is this? And this is that beautiful, um, it's retired, but that beautiful paper with the hummingbird and the mosaic, mosaic something. I really love how she did that. And just put the hummingbird right out there. And you see how it opens like that? Mm -hmm. And then it opens again. That's so nice. So great and card. Does it stand so, up? Yep, it does stand up. That's a great card. Oh, thank you. Another one we need to... Do one of these times, so that is a great thing. And Megan Gregory from New Mexico, just, Ooh, we're getting from all over. Just to Karen. Oh, 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 thank you. You know, <laughs> I love my tea. I said I felt there was something in here that. Oh, you guys look. You can just add this little bit in here, a little bit of a tea thing, and she's got a nice note. I will come back and do that. That is just so fun. 
Oh, so this is an extra special cup of tea from her. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Vanilla chai. And I don't think I've ever had no. vanilla chai. That will be fun. It's It'll be fun. And look what a simple, great card. And think of how many floral stamps you could do this with. Isn't this fun? Alternating colors. And she just has two different ones. That's another great layout. I little, love simple, nice layouts. And it's got a little glittered thing there. And this is a non-layered card. So this is just a one, one sheet. One just a one, one and done. There we go. A one and done. We could do a one and done. Ten times that time. That's right. Lana's on here. She says that mosaic paper is what she's working with right now. That's hilarious. But that is a great card. I love that. And then from Vesta Street from Colorado. Oh, how pretty is this? She's just got some background. This is just some interesting background paper. And then she stamped right over it. Basically, this is what we're doing today. Only we're fussy cutting. But you see, you can stamp right over your paper. A little hello to brighten your day. And that looks awesome. So it's just, again, one layer, but it just has a beautiful look to it. And then she has some on the inside here, too. So is that the paper? Is that yeah, this is all in a paper. It's Isn't it pretty. pretty? There's a lot of papers you can do that with. That's just really pretty. You'd actually think that if you ran your finger across this, that it would actually be raised up. Yeah, it looks textured, doesn't it, it? It does, and it's not. And then we have Jennifer Quills. She is in Florida, but she's in New York thinking of us on vacation. And these <laughs> made her think of us. Is this fun? Oh, this is such oh, yeah. a great card. <laughs> so and, and look at how fun it to is. do something like that with the flowers. So isn't that great? So we love getting our happy mail. I <laughs> just love it. And she's originally from Florida. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's where she's still from. She's just on vacation oh, in yeah. New York. Yes. So we love it. You know, we kind of feel like you guys go on vacation with us. And when we when we send out those postcards, and we love hearing back when people are on vacation, just being thought of. I said, that's so fun. This was the fun stamp set. That was the drawing for this week. This is so great. And we had a lot of fun comments, including somebody who said this just was this her 10-year-old girl da granddaughter right here, because this is how she'd spend her summer. And I think, how cool is that? The winner of the drawing is Elizabeth Niemeyer. So you will just message us your address and that goes in the mail to you. And the drawing for next week is going to be a paper pumpkin. Now, this is really, this is really a beautiful one. I was out of town when this came, so I never got around to doing it. But it has that look of built right into the paper. That's that same look we did, a, you know, that you can use alcohol and all that shimmery look with your re-anchors. We did that in class. But it's a beautiful stamp set. And I chose to use this because I wanted to make a reminder that now during celebration, if you've never tried Paper Pumpkin and you want to give it a try and you want to do a three month or more prepaid subscription, you also get a celebration set. So you can do anything like that and add to your celebration set. So that was just my little plug for that. And this will be the drawing. So to be in the drawing, all you need to do is comment on either the YouTube or Facebook. And we do a drawing every week. And then my last thing, a quick reminder that the next class that we are doing is going to be all kinds of things you can do with soft pastels. So many different things that you can do. Uh, and this is just one, one of the many techniques we're going to do. So I'll also put information up about that. And this is our new host code. We're going to look for some fun sentences to go with this. So K3DECYAB. And Tim has one. Karen's, Karen's dear. Karen's three oh. dear energetic children yak a bit. And he said, we have two children that are quieter than the other three. So he said it was a perfect fit anyway, because yeah. I would know what three, three of yeah. the dear children he was talking about. <laughs> but yeah. we all know the, we, the we, fun, the different is personalities really, is on that. It's very true. Oh, Brenda was saying that was a gorgeous paper pumpkin. It is. It's been one of the oh, one of the favorites. So that would be a very fun. Very fun prize to send out. So just we just love engagement and you guys getting involved. And you know what I give away each week is something retired. Tomorrow, we're going to be giving away in the back porch stampers a bunch of drawings. And they're all going to be for um, a part of a paper share from, from one paper. Because that's okay. what I'm working on right now is paper shares. You need, need to explain this because tomorrow's Friday. We don't yeah. do yeah. Facebook uh, You don't know that, Tim. Yeah, no. But we're on for no. all day tomorrow again. It's another party day. He has no idea. 
<laughs> but you don't have to do a whole lot of those whole things. Lot. In between cutting my paper shares, what? I'm going to just be going live and sharing a few things. But but what I hear is people <laughs> clamor for you. They want so me on. since I'm working on that, you, you, yeah, but you get to come say hi. You're, you're like, what I'm going to be working on, I'll show you tomorrow. But uh, I'm just going to send one of those to oh, like a dozen different people. So you know, we'll send out a bunch of little little portions of our day. So that's fun. A baker's so, dozen or just a dozen? Oh, I don't. Maybe a baker's dozen. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Okay, it's going to be a baker's dozen. Okay, this will be fun. Oh, good. Some of you are looking forward to tomorrow. So just come join us in Facebook. It is the Back Porch Stampers. And I will put a link in the video to it. So we are going to play with six. We're going to do six different cards to just give you a bunch of ideas. You know, I love paper piecing. You guys know that I like to fussy cut. So, you know, this would be right up my alley. But sometimes I'll forget about doing te this technique. So it's fun to be reminded again. Plus, it's an opportunity to look at six different stamp sets. You can never go wrong with that. This Angels of Peace is just really a fun one. We did a really lovely card a couple of weeks ago with a little girl. So we're using the women, the woman. Uh, Tim pulled up a chair on the side of the table. So to give me more room because we have so much clutter on the table we for do. six different projects. Uh, not only on the table, on the side table, on the bench, on the floor. So he just found himself a new space. But you guys can all relate to that. If you saw an overhead shot, you wouldn't be surprised. No. Okay. Wouldn't. So for this card, let me get all my pieces. And well, I guess I don't need to stamp this one because I already stamped it. But here's how we're starting. So this is, uh, I, I just have stamped, I've colored the parts of the angel that are going to show. And I'll put this on. And I just cut this. It, oh, some of you like to know measurements. And, you know, the point of this is it really doesn't matter. I stamped her and then I just cut around and framed it how I thought it would be. And then I cut a bunch more like it because if I'm going to make a card, I'm going to make several. So your first one is just kind of a hit and miss. So I figured that out. Then I just went a quarter inch bigger to figure this part, part out. So I will tell you though, the white part is two and a quarter by four. So then this would be two and a half by four and a quarter. And then on this one, I just took a strip that is one and a half wide by five. So I'm putting it on a piece. Oh, I guess this one's going to be different. This one's longer. See, it's not, but you know what? This is great because I'm going to show it doesn't matter. I meant to cut this one. I cut it five. Then when I cut my multiples, I forgot. And I cut this one at five and a quarter, which is the same length as this. Let's see, this might be the whole, oh, no, that's still shorter. But I want to show you what's really cool about this. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so this works. See how it's going to be very similar. This works. This works. I could also have done this all the way to the edges, and that would work. So they're all just kind of a framing for this. So I just love this because you can make you can make all these little differences, and it's just really not going to matter. Um, let's see. What color? Oh, is the green? Thanks, you guys, for asking. Um, this is the soft succulent. I need to be much better. And this is Bumblebee. I need to be much better about remembering to say the names. And the color isn't always necessarily clear. But you know where the colors come from? I picked my designer series paper first. And then I look and see what colors are in this. So I always start with things because I knew I wanted to do the dress. And I really liked this paper. And I thought, so, so I picked this paper first. In the catalog, do they tell you what yeah. those colors are? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, they do. And... So that is the easiest way. And even if I'm going to work with pattern paper, I, I like to set it out and then I gather the colors that are in it and lay them out. So then I kind of know if I'm going to make a variety of cards, what they all go with. And I, we're going to use this for two cards, the first two cards. But I just love this paper. Then the paper is the new Autumn Harvest. So let me, mm -hmm. that complements, this complements, that complements. Yep. All of these yep, things. All of these go together. The They're all. Or the, they're all from yeah, a paper pack. That's cool. So this is the one I picked for the dress. Then you can see I just stamped. This one I'm going to fussy cut. Most of the things I've already fussy cut out, so you don't have to sit and watch me. I have my 
good scissors sitting here, but I think it's hiding in the mess. <laughs> here it is. Okay. A nice sharp scissors is really nice for fussy cutting. And I got this one from Stampin' Up for one of the events we went to. This was a gift. Isn't that cool? This would also make all of you beaters out there and other crafters. This is a great idea for a gift for a fellow crafter. Isn't that just fun? How you can make that. But we talked a little bit about fussy cutting before. The real trick with fussy cutting is to follow the right line. And I'm not even going to make you do that. Yeah, follow the right line really helps. But to leave your scissors steady and then move the paper around. And I go even faster when I'm doing this live than I do when Tim is watching TV and I'm sitting next to him cutting. <laughs> That's when I do my fussy cutting. So you do it more and I have little carefully. I do it more carefully, yes. Okay. And I leave confetti all over. <laughs> it's yes, decorative to the house. I said it always just looks like there was a party at our house, right? From the bedroom to the bathroom. To the you name room, it. Every, and sometimes every. it helps to just get a little of the excess off. I'll find that too if you're trying to work around, um, you know, too much clutter that doesn't or too much bulk on there. The paper doesn't want to turn as much. Okay, so, but it really goes quickly. So this is for everything that doesn't have dyes. And you know what, sometimes even if things have dyes, I'll fussy cut because it'll be quicker for me than to go get my dye out in the machine. So, you know, it's kind of whatever. Well, you really need to know what you're cutting out because I'd, <laughs> I'd cut the wrong thing off. But how cool is that? It is. This is it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you put that on, okay? Because right. I am going to, to attach these. We're going what to use some glue here. Yeah, give me some We've been using our, I'll just give you the finished thing. Okay. Um, works much better if I can find my sponge. And here it is. And I'm gonna so make I've got some my little space. sponge here. Yeah, you're going to create a little space. Okay, and I'm going to put this kind of around the outside edge. Now, and then I'm going to point out a couple differences here. Okay, you can see how closely you can get that on. Okay, now when I was a kid, I didn't play with paper dolls. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I can do this. But this is kind of like it, isn't it? Like, it is. oh, I love playing with paper dolls. And I want to point out, do you see how this one is not flush? I just put this on with some, I think I just use regular tape on this one. Some of them I use little dye, uh, glue dots, so it really doesn't matter. Actually, okay. do you know what? I might have played with paper dolls. Okay, you might have with your sister remember. Mary. Yeah. She, well, because Mary had four brothers, you know, and one girl. Mary. So she might have roped you in. You would have been the uh, most likely it. one to rope rope into. Uh, I don't know. Okay. No, that's okay. perfect. Okay. But how cool is that? So this is the basics of paper piecing. And you can move it around because that kind of glue doesn't dry. Right Wanda out. has no patience for fussy cutting. So, see, I'm here to change your mind. No, I'm not here to change your mind. But I thought, but I thought we would devote a day to this because some of us do like it. When I actually got attached to fussy cutting, when was my mom and then a friend's mom that I would sit with in the hospital. So this was a few years ago when we had several hospital visits and I would sit there for hours. And I just got into fussy cutting because I could sit and visit and sit there. And I actually became, I was just thinking about that. That's when I really became very attached. And I just built up this huge supply of things that were fussy cut. So I think that's maybe kind of why I started. And then I would just sit in different places. And then I have to make that call back. So next, next card's gonna be this, this, this guy. Okay, now how cute is this? And you see all these things we're doing? You could color in that dress. If you're not a fussy cutter, you could color. This is just another way of adding color. And one of the things I like about paper piecing is, like if you look at this, we're only adding one color. Now if I'm gonna color it, I tend to add a whole bunch of things and that's a cool look too. But one of the things I love about this technique is it's really fun for highlighting something and then leaving the rest not colored. So I think this is really fun. And this is such a great set. We did a card the other day with a cute little pig. I said I, I dedicated it to Tim in front of that big snowflake because he's always there with his cup. I think this is just adorable. And I love the words, friends like you make life a joy. Well, thank you. And so this is what we're doing for this card. So in this one, I just want just a couple things to show here. You just want to do the, the guy a little bit off to the side. And then you'll see, I just cut these strips to go across the bottom. But this is the same paper. See how this is the same paper we used Ooh. on the, the angel. 
And this is like a totally different look on a card. It's just very, so this is across here. And then I'm using this same paper, but the sweater really doesn't totally look the same. Does it? I don't think I'll, well, see, I'm just gonna show. So on this one, it is this paper. And this stamp is much bigger. All that I care about is making sure the sweater is on there. So I'm gonna put this on, and this could go on any which way, it doesn't matter at all. I'm putting it on upside down there, okay? So there is my sweater. I'll cut, cut this one too, just cause this one's really easy. And then the others we won't cut. I think I already cut the other. I was gonna volunteer to fussy cut it, but I But you, you'd rather attach. But you know what? This sweater looks like cozy with all those little things. Doesn't it look like a, like a little woolly kind of sweater? I just think this is just so fun. Put that on. So now this one was quick. So even if you're not really fond of fussy cutting, this one might not seem so hard to you. And so another way that I just would do, you know, a few detail things. I was going to do the little glue dots just to do variety here. Let me see if I have some little in here. Um, I have a strip. There's a couple on here. Ah, we have things all over. So if I just put a couple of those on, see what that's going to work too. I'm going to let you do that one. And then you can see uh, it's the same color. So this is Bumblebee. And then I just added the friends like you make like a life a joy. <laughs> Renee says she has arthritis in her right hand. So she'll see how far she gets. Yep. Yeah. I would say don't do the angel, but do something that's much easier. We'll look at some of these different ones. Some are just much easier than the others. But I just think they're really a fun look. And you could, you know, change the color and it's just going to feel very different. But isn't that fun? It's going off the side. So now on this one, and I'm not going to finish putting it together, but I do have the words here somewhere. I just thought I put this bicycle back further so I'd have more room. I was going to put this one straight then and just compare them. But it's disappeared in our mess. So it's all fine. We're good with that. <laughs> okay. On to the next one. I'm going to just get rid of this stuff. I'm going to pass this to Tim. He can put it on the floor. And the next one we're going to do, let's go for a whole different look now than with the flower. So I think this is really just a lovely, more elegant look. Okay, so this is the Delicate Dahlias, which is one of the free stamp sets with Celebration with the $50 order. You can get this free. And for this, see, I just love how you can mix and match things. So for this, I've used the Beauty of the Earth paper. So the leaves are stamped on this. This is the other side. They're stamped on this and cut out. And the flower itself is stamped on this tree paper. You would never know it when you look at this. And I love how you get all the variegated blues. Is that just a fun look? <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I'm glad you guys are liking this. We're getting a lot of fun comments here. So the one I'm going to put together here, I'm just going to show another one. So now we're going to switch. We're doing the very same thing. So this will be my card. And these are just going down a quarter of an inch. So this is the base card. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter, which means this piece then is five and a quarter by four. And this piece is five by three and three quarters. So if you always just think of just, you know, trimming a little off, we're just going to go for the quarter inch. And I always need sympathy cards. So I love these sayings in here. We've got several. You inspire me. Oh, so happy for you. Thank you kindly. Sending heartfelt sympathy. The other thing that's cool about the stamp set is you can see it has an inside. It's a two-step. And this will also give you variegated colors. So it's really a pre uh, pretty idea. But we are just using the outside one and fussy cutting out of paper. And our variegated colors are coming from from there. Oh, so there's Tim. He knows what he's going to do. Good he's going to fix things. Tim pays both. Do you know what I really need is more dots. glue dots. I, oh, they're right here. <laughs> See? 
I've got too much stuff here. I was going to send you to go find them, Tim. You and he was all you ready. Couldn't, you couldn't tell what you were sitting on there? I know. I know. You might not be able to get off the chair. I know. Because, you know, here's the other thing. That, and I think it's because I'm so often working at stuff at night when she was watching TV. But I love to assemble cards with my glue dots. So I'm a big glue dot. I go through tons of these. Because it's not messy. I can sit in my chair. I don't have to be sitting at the desk That's to do it. <laughs> figuratively, not, not literally. <laughs> and this time I am using some of the in color paper. So this is the soft subtle pack. And we just get the different patterns it's, there. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? So I just picked two of these colors out of here. That, that size, that the, these come. come six by six. Yep. They're in the main catalog. And I just wanted to show the difference because here I'm just, and so I just love how you're getting the soft subtle thing right in there. So I'm going to kind of guess where I want that. And then on this one, I'm going to pop it up. Oh, and I'm finding my little ones. Where are my she big has ones? So many choices. I know. I have so much clutter here, is what the so deal those is. Those are too big? Uh, that's or okay. You like bigger ones? No, it's okay. I will just I will just do. Yeah, we should take a picture of what our what our thing looks like. Some of you would laugh and some of you will say, I relate to that. <laughs> right? <laughs> but you know, here we have these are very different colors. It's the very same card. It's just different papers. And I just think that is just such a fun look. Yes, this is, um, yeah, Beth, Beth says, oh, that's great. You just wouldn't think of using the tree paper for flower card. And that's where it's fun to just experiment because you might do something and not like it and then something else you will like. This is a celebration set and it's with the $100 order. You're right. Thank you, somebody, for correcting that. Most of the things in celebration are with the $50 order. And there are two things that are with a hundred dollar order, and that is one of them. But it is a beautiful stamp, so to, just to know that. And I just think this is really a fun idea. On camera, the blue shows up much more, but they're both very pretty. Yeah, this you aren't seeing, but it is in person. Wouldn't you mm -hmm. say it is very subtle? And yeah. I picked out of this. Um, I, I don't remember which, but see, if I'd picked like uh, something that had a little more color to it. It would show a little more. So it's just about experimenting. So if I'm going to make a bunch of cards like this, what I do is I pull out paper, I do a bunch of stamping, and then I save the fussy cutting for watching TV at night. That's how I do it. I don't do it all in one fell swoop. I have my stash of things that I'm working on. Since we're talking celebration, let's also look at this stamp set, Counting Sheep, because this when I first saw this, I immediately thought fussy cutting. <laughs> you might not have, but, um, but I wanted to mention this you can get dies. That is another $50 free item. And the dies are going to run out. I heard they're already on low inventory. Uh, Stampin' Up! does not make the dies. So there are these dies and then there's Shaded Summer dies. Shaded Summer is a stamp set in the catalog. So you can always get that. The dies, they only have while supplies last. They won't get more. So if you are interested in either of those, order them first. Get those right away because you can add the sheep later. But whether or not I had dies for this, I love this. And so we're going to make a card not using the dies because I didn't want it to run out. So here are some different things. So I was just doing these up real quickly because we're really highlighting. And so for the paper on this one, I chose to so watch this, Tim. Look at this paper. Ooh, I chose weird. this Christmas paper. And I thought, I, I know I want to use the trees for something, but I could yeah. trim off some of this top. Yeah. So I have both sides. And wow, so what I did on this, like I mean, whoa, it, it does. Whoa. See, I did on this side. <laughs> like fur. Some people have fur babies. And Tim has people, his fur sheep, you know. He didn't grow up on a farm with his fur. I grew up on a farm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that, that would be his pet. <laughs> but I did them on both sides and then cut them out. So I don't know if you have a preference or I thought it'd be fun to do both. And now you're going to notice that when you stamp, oh. like on this one, I have a isn't this cute? This one, I just left, you know, because you've got that arm there. But because it's so light colored, you're not going to notice. On this one, he's got the mm -hmm. ear there. So I used the white chalk marker. I just went over that a little bit to make that a little more white like the other. So it's very choose? easy. I th thought we'd do both or we well, can do, do both of do this. Blue and or not? Well, you can do both. They could be matching or they could be different. Or different. Or different. Okay. And then I also thought, so then I did the So Glad It's Your Birthday, which is in the stamp set. And then I thought, oh, that looked a little blah. So then I cut out. <laughs> you guys had all kinds of pieces that are missing. Oh, this is too funny. So then I stamped it in green and cut out just the green birthday. Thought we could pop that up. So that's one idea. 
And then I thought, oh no, it just needs more color. So then I just stamped yes. it all in green. And yes. then I just hand cut this out and it's not meant to be perfect. I wasn't even trying to make that perfect because I thought it just needed a little more. This That's is the really granny nice. apple green. Um, okay, really and, works. okay, and you know what? I'm just gonna put these on because you know I don't care if these don't uh, lay super flat. It's just kind of the I, idea here. Oh, did I? Oh, I so look at this. I missed cutting this out, the little part in for the ear. Now I gotta fix that. Okay. Okay, so do you feel like you're playing paper dolls with me? Here's this one. I know it does feel like that, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, you already put them on here. No, I just put one. Oh, you put one on. Oh, okay. I want to I want to do mine, you want to do yours. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm already adding. Okay. Okay, we're togetherness. We're yes, doing togetherness is. here. Okay. We will put that on. And then with these, I'll use a couple glue dots and put this on. And I thought, what a cute card. So even if the dies run out, make sure, you know, you want to get the dies now if you want them. But if they run out, this is going to be so cute standing alone. So cute. And isn't that just a great little farm that card? Is. I mean, that is just adorable. That is. So that is really cute. Okay. And then next, we will go to... Oh, this one's just a matter of just putting together. But I thought this is another really cute stamp set. And this is my favorite stamp in here. Look at this, Tim, with the bear and the heart. Is that fun? But this is a little <laughs> count on me. And it's like all these are adorable. Mm -hmm. I, that's really cute, too. These nice. are really cute. Through thick and thin, count me in. Love comes in all shapes and sizes. We can make it through anything if we do it together. No matter what, I'm here for you. And this, I love this one. I've got your back. This is down under. This is the influence of Australia. Oh, yeah, Australian it is, Zealand. isn't it? An adorable card. So I did a really basic background here, and I stamped the bear on the new tags. This would be a great bookmark. I was going to leave it as a bookmark, and then I thought, well, we'll show it as a, we'll show it as a card. And here I wanted, well, first I want to point out, look at this. Uh, I just did several of these because I wanted twine to kind of go with the twine effect here. So by doing several, then it makes it thicker because usually you use a thicker. And do you see how that's put together? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it just goes like that, like a little oh, bookmark you, tag. You're talking about them with me. Yeah, well, no, you, anyone? That just okay, about like cool. the Sherman Barrier, right? Lisa no. says my hiney is clean. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is. It is. It is. I was thinking poo. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. Okay, well, that's just really fun. The pooh bear. <laughs> but yeah. And on this one, look at this. I took some of the Christmas paper, the six by six tidings and trimmings. And I thought, this just looks like you got looks snow falling on them. And nice I thought, nice. okay, that's just going to oh. be my fun little little winter card. And I don't know if we'll attach it or not. Maybe we want it as a as a bookmark, you know? So either, either way, I'm going to let you finish that one. So we won't attach it, but this is how it would be attached. And, you know, I did bookmark cards before. If I really wanted to send this as a bookmark, Card, and I wanted to send it as a card. Here's what I would have done instead. I would have, instead of putting that there, we put an attach, a strip across here that says, I've got your back, and this slides in. Mm. Can, can you picture that? We did a video showing that. So if anyone needs to see that, we I did can, that with our Make It Happen stamp set. With I, can the, um, I can picture it. Okay. So that's how you do it if you didn't want to attach it. But I just thought this is just really adorable. Are we really just down to one more? I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting any. So, Tim, I'm going to let you count. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. That go. is just adorable. So it's just this little winter snowy bear. So that is okay. just pretty fun. The red stripe paper is also from the same paper pack. It's the tidings and trimmings, the six by six Christmas paper in the that is in the main catalog. It is the one Christmas paper in the main catalog. And, and there are, you know, like with all the sets, some of them are really Christmassy papers, but a lot of them aren't, can be used for year round or all kinds of things. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it, look at five, we are down to six. Oh, we are just moving right along. Okay, so that's so far. Okay, our last card then, and then you know what happens after this, the back porch stampers. This is the challenge of the week to do some, a paper piece card into post because we just love seeing tons and tons of ideas and there's always a drawing every week in that. Um, I thought, I thought she, she meant what happens after this 
Tim has to take a nap because he's worked so hard. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> well, I think it's the thought of parting all day tomorrow with it and you you not know. <laughs> she didn't tell me that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here is the fun little card we're gonna do with this. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I said, I need to make a bunch of these cards. Happy belated birthday. Sorry, I was slow <laughs> just to have on hand because I'm the worst at forgetting. But these are so cute. You are turtly loved. Hello, little one. And you see, we've got different turtles. And we do have this, which would typically be the shell. We also have it's time to celebrate. So this is just yet another option, right? Because we like our options. And then a little one, too. And this is, yes, and this is almost like a little camouflage look, you know, because the shell matches this. So anyway, we're going to play with this idea. And this one, where Loretta thinks, she says these are all adorable. So I thought, you know, and so we did a combination of kind of elegant cards and cute, cute cards. And I think it's just so fun when you can get both looks so easily out of the same technique. Uh, I think I'll put it right there. This is sea foam that I'm using right here. And then on this to do the shell and I would only, I could do cut this smaller and just do the shell. All I care about that one is the shell, but we'll just put it on there. Got Good eyes to be able to see that. Camouflage. Yeah, that is a real camouflage look. So we could do all kinds of different things with it, but it was fun to just page through the catalog and look for stamp sets that I felt like trying this, technique with and you know when you post yours they don't even have to be stamping up stamps it's, and a lot of times people use retired stamps but it just gives us all lots more ideas then i'm going to punch this and then this will need just a little bit of fussy cutting i will just finish doing the shell here so i have to cut off the head and this part but look at that so good. I don't think we even need to do this card, but you can see how I just took that. Let's let's do the card. Okay, card. they they deserve. It. We'll, we'll, it's not going to be yeah. Well, Tim, at the end of all. Okay, these. Tim, I was trying to cover cover my mistake because which mistake? Um, I, I punched this out of here instead of this. Oh my, <laughs> oh my goodness! No, so we just let's okay. Be honest about our mistakes. Okay, here. so we're gonna change this card. We're gonna put this one up here. And we're going to pop this out and have it be like popping Ooh. out of here. Would that be a good, a fun look? Yes. Okay, we're going to play with how to, how to, how Karen rescues this card. Okay. Oh, and look what else I did. I smut. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there might be a reason I make most cards ahead of time. And after, okay. this, after this broadcast, okay. Karen's going to say to me, Tim, if I say that we're not going to finish it, <laughs> we're not going to finish it. Keep your mouth shut because I mean it. We're yes. not finishing it. Okay, I'm going to put this on. Okay, see, we're just gonna we're gonna just play Ooh. with this and make it happen. Okay, Tim, this should be your department. You're the one who's so good at fixing mistakes. Well, I don't know what I'm good. doing this for, well, but, but do you think this well, works? You're doing a great job. Okay, so you put this guy on there. With what? Dots. With the dots, yep. Okay. And then we'll pop them up on here and then we'll see how these compare side by side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. We got our favorite line in there, Marley says, yes, we can. And it is. I always love to say it is just paper and ink. This is kind of a, and look at this. This is all crooked. Oh, Tim, this might be one I put your name on the back. Yeah, would you so. be okay with that? I would, be, I would <laughs> love I'd be honored. <laughs> we have this running joke that cards don't turn out. I just put his name on the back. That's right. <laughs> Made by Tim. Because <laughs> uh, that would be just fine. Okay. And then I will grab some of these. So we're glad, you know, it is just so fun to, <laughs> yeah, great save. Yes, that's great. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, it is, you know, if you can't have fun with paper crafting, I just, uh, okay. And I'll put a couple of these on. And then Tim will let you finish off this card. So I truly can say that you did this. <laughs> okay. There you go. So, see what you're gonna do with that and you know it could be directly above or it could be aligned like that ooh. like it's walking out of something so you know as you're playing with things you start thinking or it could be i could have dropped it down below it could be sitting on this so we're seeing tons i think tim's fell out see it's like a falling skies one or then it might just be very 
conventional and just do it. It might be walking into it or it might just be popped up in a total camouflage card. So we just covered, you know, like four yep. different ways of doing this card <laughs> that started with a mistake. <laughs> oh, how fun is that? So, <laughs> but you, you weren't going to put anything you know, in between like this because that's pretty. No, well, see, this part I'll just moved up there. Oh, I, I actually think this is really fun because it looks totally camouflaged. It's like, where did that piece go? <laughs> you know, that'd be actually a really fun card to give a kid. What do you guys think? Okay, we're going to put it back on us and you can come oh. sit by me again. But thanks, you guys, for laughing with us, creating with us. And we can't wait now to see what you do over in the backport stampers. And remember tomorrow in the backport stampers, same place. We'll be partying all day. So let us know if you have any sure. questions. And you got to show what we did. Oh, okay. You want to show all the cards. Oh, okay, let's each hold them. I don't know what you did. What do you mean? Where I don't, I I don't know what his plan is. What did you put where? Where did I put the stack? Oh, they're here. Oh, they're right here, Tim. Okay. Because okay. I was holding them. So <laughs> but do you have a favorite, Tim? This one. Okay. Okay. Save the best to last. We'd like to hear from the rest of you. Which one is your favorite? So we have six cards here. We have floral, angel, sheep, bear, two bear cards. And, and a turtle. And a turtle. Thanks, everyone. And uh, I always come back and read the comments. So that's great. Oh, and we have a brand new stamp around here, Pam. So glad to have you with us. So glad to have all of you. We appreciate you spending this time with us. See you tomorrow.